G'day. I'm gonna build a stacking, hanging pot plant rack that looks fantastic. All we need is some maple here, it's 235. I'm gonna cut that into squares, so 235 by 235. We're gonna have three of those. We need three pot plants and some nice, colorful rope. I'm gonna be cutting this on the drop saw. It's nice and easy behind me there, but if you haven't got a drop saw, you can use a circular saw, or of course you can use a hand saw. But if you are using a hand saw, make sure you use a square and get a nice square line. Okay, our three bits of timber are cut, and as usual, I like to give them all a little bit of a sand. Okay, I now need to drill four holes in each corner. I'm coming 20 mil in, 20 mil down, mark all those holes and drill it all out. The same diameter as your rope you're using. Now that our holes are drilled, we need to find the centre point of our squares of timber. We've got our centre point here now. Now we need to drill a hole to fit our pot plants. Now I'm lucky enough to have the right size hole saw for these pot plants. If you don't have one of these, which is likely, you can use a jigsaw or you can use a coping saw, which is a little bit harder. Okay, we've got our three squares with our holes cut out for our pot plants. Now, of course, there's some sanding to be done and then the ropes go on. Now, I've clamped my three squares to the bench at 450 in between and then I'm gonna thread the rope through here and this way, it's gonna be nice and even. If you haven't got clamps and things like that, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get your knots right. Okay, there we have it. All our ropes are in position, our knots are tied. We just gotta do the top and the bottom of the ropes and then the pot plants go in and we're ready to hang. And three, and you can do as many as you like. How good is this gonna look hanging in your courtyard. 